brain. The brain is your personal mission control, the core of everything you think, feel, remember, and do. Imagine a billion switches flipping on and off in perfect sequence. That's your brain firing electrical signals across 86 billion neurons to run your entire body. Even though it weighs less than 5% of your body, it demands 25% of your energy because thinking, reacting, and staying alive is hard work. It's divided into two hemispheres, left for logic, right for creativity, and three main parts. The cerebrum commands conscious thought and movement. The cerebellum handles balance and coordination. And the brainstem, that's your autopilot, managing breathing, heartbeat, and sleep without you lifting a finger. Without the brain, no other organ even knows what to do. It's not just the control center, it's the reason there's a you at all. Heart. If the brain is control, the heart is motion. It's your biological engine, beating over 100,000 times a day to move life through your veins. Inside are four chambers working like synchronized pistons. The right side sends blood to the lungs for oxygen. The left side blasts it out to the rest of the body. This loop happens constantly without a single command from you. As long as your heart beats, nutrients, oxygen, and hormones get delivered to every cell in your body. If it stops, everything else does too. Lungs. Your blood is the delivery truck. Your lungs are the fuel station. With every breath, they extract oxygen from the air and send it to the bloodstream. At the same time, they pull out carbon dioxide, your body's waste gas, and push it back into the air. Each lung is packed with millions of alveoli, tiny air sacs with a total surface area the size of a tennis court. Without lungs, oxygen never reaches your organs and the whole machine shuts down. Liver. If your body were a city, the liver would be the recycling plant, the chemical lab, and the water treatment center all at once. It turns nutrients from food into usable fuel, produces bile to break down fats, and filters out toxins, alcohol, and drugs from the blood. The liver also stores energy in the form of glycogen and helps manage blood clotting. But here's the marvel, it can regrow. Cut out 75% of it and it'll rebuild itself like nothing happened. No other internal organ comes close to that resilience. Kidneys. Now meet your kidneys, two silent bean-shaped filters just below your ribs. Every 30 minutes, they filter all the blood in your body, removing toxins, excess water, and waste products to form urine. Each kidney contains over a million tiny filters called nephrons. They also regulate electrolyte levels, blood pressure, and even help in producing red blood cells. And the backup plan? You only need one to live a perfectly normal life. Spleen. While the heart and lungs focus on keeping you alive, the spleen is watching your blood quality. Think of it as a blood bouncer, removing old, damaged red blood cells and spotting threats like bacteria and viruses. It also supports your immune system by creating white blood cells. You can live without it, but your immune system won't be quite as sharp. It's the behind the scenes protector you probably forgot you had. Gallbladder. The gallbladder doesn't make bile, it stores it. Picture it like a fuel tank for digestion. When you eat something fatty, the gallbladder squeezes out bile into the small intestine to break it down. It works hand in hand with the liver. But here's the catch, gallstones can block the ducts and cause pain. If it's removed, digestion still works, just less efficiently. Pancreas. The pancreas wears two hats. First, it's a digestive enzyme factory, releasing powerful chemicals into the small intestine to break down food. Second, it's a hormone hub, producing insulin and glucagon, the team that manages your blood sugar. If insulin stops flowing, blood sugar spikes. And that's how diabetes begins. Without the pancreas doing its job, both digestion and energy balance fall apart. Stomach. The stomach is your internal mixing bowl, mashing food into a liquid called chyme using powerful acids and enzymes. It stretches and contracts 
based on how much you eat. Proteins get broken down here by pepsin, and the churned up mess is sent to the intestines for absorption. Fun fact, your stomach expands when you eat a lot, but even after losing weight, the size doesn't fully shrink. Appetite is more complex than just stomach space. Intestines. The intestines are your nutrient pipeline, stretching over 25 feet inside your body. The small intestine absorbs nutrients from food. The large intestine reclaims water and packs waste into feces. Once the job's done, what's left travels through the rectum and out the anus. Most digestion doesn't happen in the stomach. It happens here. Without intestines, your body simply can't absorb life's fuel. Skin. The skin is your largest, most exposed, and most underappreciated organ. It's your armor, guarding against infections, sun damage, and dehydration. It also regulates temperature, produces vitamin D, and houses your sense of touch. Skin has three layers, the epidermis, outer barrier, dermis, nerve-rich middle, and subcutaneous fat, insulation. Melanin, your natural sunscreen, gives skin its color, with more of it in sunnier climates. It's not just a surface, it's a shield. Eyes. The eyes are your light sensors, translating photons into vision. Light enters the cornea, bends through the lens, and hits the retina, where specialized cells fire signals through the optic nerve to the brain. Vision isn't just about eyes. It's about how your brain interprets those signals. That's why your eyes can be healthy, yet you still can't see clearly if the brain isn't processing the signals right. Ears. Your ears are dual-purpose tools, sound detectors and balance centers. Sound waves enter the ear canal, vibrate the eardrum, and move through three tiny bones to the cochlea. There, sound becomes an electric signal for the brain. But deep inside, your ears also track motion and orientation, so you don't fall over every time you move. And yes, earwax is normal. It's your ears cleaning themselves. Tongue. The tongue is a flexible muscular center, key to taste, chewing, swallowing, and speech. It's covered in taste buds that detect sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. As you eat, it moves food around the mouth and shapes your voice when you speak. It even helps keep your airway open while breathing. It's one of the few muscles in your body that works almost constantly and never tires. Reproductive organs. The reproductive organs are less about survival and more about continuation. In males, the testes produce sperm and the hormone testosterone. In females, the ovaries release eggs and produce estrogen and progesterone. Together, these systems manage fertility, hormonal balance, and traits like body hair and voice pitch. While not needed to live day to day, they ensure the human story doesn't end with us. Every organ has one job, keep you alive. So take care of your body, because it's working non-stop to take care of you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.